Good day everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video I want to talk about one of the top rewards from the Summer Quest. This reward will be the F4D Skyray, which is a naval jet fighter that will be stored in the USA's Air Tech Tree at rank 6. According to the information from Ganjin's blog about this vehicle, this aircraft will have an excellent climb rate, which is pretty explainable due to the fact that it has a very powerful engine. It will also have a radar and the air-to-air -air missiles. Due to the fact that it is one of the early Cold War naval aircrafts, it will sadly be only equipped with the four AIM-9Bs, which whoever used them in the past could already say that they're pretty difficult to deal with. However, it is one of the earlier missile jets, so I'm hoping that this aircraft will be well balanced against other enemy aircrafts. The fact that this aircraft has got its own radar though, as an early jet fighter, is pretty amazing though. At least, that is what the Ganjin says. In addition, this aircraft will be equipped with additional 4 20mm Browning Colt KM-12 cannons. This type of weaponry would ensure you that the enemies that will get hit by your fire will be destroyed in no time. This aircraft can also carry up to 114 FFAR rockets, which are the unguided air-to-ground rockets. The only problem about the fact that this aircraft has got its own radar, and Gajin is actually trying to specify it to us, is the fact that there are plenty of other aircraft before this one that already had a radar, but just the fact that it has a radar could be still a massive advantage in a way, even though a lot of aircraft that is battle rating would also have a radar. However, the actual radar would be really, really 100% totally 10 out of 10 useful for the simulation battles. Due to this aircraft's specific wing design, the F-4D is capable to keep up with the same rate as the more maneuverable aircraft of this rank. And to be honest, this is really good as the players would have higher chances of surviving dogfights in that thing. And don't get me wrong, dogfights are amazing, especially in jets. Um, at the highest battle rating, the actual dogfights, they still do exist, but they're not as good as they were at the lower battle ratings. However, uh, with the early jets, um, you know, the actual idea of having dogfights is still there, and it's still pretty amazing, because the actual missiles at the early jet battle rating uh, the actual missiles on there aren't really the best, uh, which makes the you know the cannons, the actual maneuverability, and all the other stuff uh, really important still. However, what this aircraft seems to be the best at is its climb rate. This aircraft is capable of climbing at a speed of over 90 meters a second, which is really astonishing. And honestly, I'm beginning to question and wonder actually. Is Ganjin kind of... Did the Ganjin make a typo in there? Or something? Because 90 meters a second, that, that's quite a lot to be honest. You know, I'm going to need to double check that. In addition, its afterburner is capable of accelerating to the transsonic speeds at the sea level. And if you want to know what the transsonic speeds are, uh, well, basically the transsonic speeds are the actual speeds that are basically under the supersonic. So basically you got the transonic, then you got the supersonic, and then you got anything after that. I haven't done the research about that. Um, so yeah, basically you will not be able to go supersonic in this jet, however you'll be able to actually get really close to that speed. At the sea level as well, which is really good. Anyways, um, here's one more thing that you guys and, and girls I actually enjoy, or well, not enjoy, it's like a quick thing that I want to mention about uh, how you can actually do this quest. Because um, I did a additional bit of research and I found out that uh, the best way to actually do, at least if you're actually trying to get this fighter, right? Um, if you are going to be doing realistic battles, uh, it's gonna take you a really long time to actually, uh, you know, get enough points for the stars and technically if you're a busy person like me uh, yeah the, the chances of actually getting a star are really low because um, you know I'm a human being I'm working 40 hours a week and sadly enough sometimes I'm not even get, getting paid for that that's why in many cases good idea would be to actually go to the uh, arcade battles in which if you're lucky enough and if you play well enough you can actually get around 2,000 points in one battle 
and then hit on a one of the actual uh, wages or yeah wages yeah yeah hit hit on like you know one of the wages where you get to shoot down five enemy planes or ten enemy planes and yeah you can even farm plenty of silver lions and you gotta get plenty of points and the time in which you actually gotta be getting those points will be shortened by a lot than you would be doing it in realistic battles and i know that a lot of people don't really like the arcade battles but at this point at least to me i'm thinking that arcade battles would be the best option for this sadly anyways i hope that you all had enjoyed this video uh, this has been rebel 44 and as always uh, stay healthy, um, stay cool, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching, Rebel44, signing out.